And of course, I was getting flexible and strong at the same time. So I was like, this is great. You know, and then I would have espresso or whatever breakfast afterwards. So when Paul opened up the studio, um, I met Tammy and we got to talking about your nursing background and that I was a physician and you had asked me if I had done any yoga teaching or something. And I said, no, I'm a surgeon. I couldn't stand in front of people and uh, ever talk like that. And <laughs> that you can do surgery. <laughs> and, and, yeah, and that's what you said. You said oh, but you can do surgery. Of course you can. You make it your own. So I actually did the yoga teacher training because I enjoyed learning about mindfulness and the philosophy of yoga. And so I hadn't really intended to actually teach the asanas initially. Mm. But during the yoga teacher training, um, because Tammy's yoga teacher training is not just about learning sequences and getting a certificate for the wall, um, you learn about the, what it's, it's very similar to training as to become a surgeon in the sense that each asana has an indication, a risk, a contraindication, and with surgery, each surgery has an indication, a risk, and contraindication. Yeah. So that really resonated with me. So I understood. I was like, oh yeah, this is how we keep our students safe. This is how we keep the patients safe. Um, but in reviewing the anatomy and physiology, it made me realize that some of the things that we're doing surgically, particularly with breast reconstruction, may not be. I won't say it's wrong, but using the latissimus muscle and placing it on the chest wall to reconstruct the breast will have consequences for that patient's long-term function. And so for me now, my surgical practice, I will look at a patient um, in a holistic sense and understand their level of function prior to operating on them. So I look at my patients differently now because of my yoga practice and my mm. yoga teaching. Um, looking at whether or not they can, you know, if you use those muscles to do a plank and for upper body strength and also with the motion, forward motion of your shoulder, that will have um, long-term effects. So trying to understand my patients, what they do um, in terms of their activity so that I don't cause um, permanent dysfunction. So, to summarize, I guess, safety. So it's, so it's made me a more mindful, yoga has made me a more mindful surgeon, I would say. Mm -hmm. and, um, and then that led to doing mindfulness training, which is why I wanted to learn the, the yoga in the first place.